Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we have a Maryland campaign event for you. Our first round here is the Shenandoah Street followed up by our second map, which is the Bloody Lane. But before we get into that, thank you to our Patreon members for the support. If you'd like to support, go to the link in the description and get a live stream of all the broadcasts we do. An additional broadcast per week can advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of everything we cover. So, our teach for today. On the CSA side, you got the Iron Brigade, Missouri State Guard, Jackson's Division, 12th Virginia, 33rd Kentucky, and I Corps. Whereas on the Union side, you got the 10th United States, Mississippi Brigade, uh, Kelly's Brigade, Twin Banners, Corn Brigade, and the Pennsylvania Army. So we'll get into server pop numbers and all that after we see this charge. Because CSA like to play this aggressive to start, and they are going in right away. Generally, you see quick defensive here from CSA. If they can take control of the map quickly, it's it's a curb stopping. I mean, look how many CSA dead are here, but more importantly, look how well Union's holding. This is a great start for Union, one you don't normally see on this map. Look at the ticket count already in CSA's favor. CSA's trickling over. Let's quickly... Look at numbers and whatnot. You got 180 right now. Imbalance is five towards the CSA side. CSA has five guys on artillery though. Union doesn't have any. You can see that artillery located up top there. It doesn't look like they have a great angle, but we'll see if they hit anything. You have a Union moving off of the distance on the top side of your screen. You have CSA flags. All of them are condensed kind of behind this house respawning guys as they're trying to collapse in to the Union lines. Next, uh, our frontline reporters today. Got Kaiser here from JD. Getting some nice pistol action. I don't know why Union guys are going around the corner when they're defending. You need to wait for the CSA to come to you. Uh, and then, following on the other side, you got Ninja here who is dead. Kaiser's not, though. So, Ninja from PA is the Union frontline reporter. Very appreciative of that. So, CSA is looking to make this an ugly match. And they are starting to slowly gain ground here. Taking that stone wall. Union's already halfway through battle ready. This is such a quick match. No, where is it? Not any fat no! Right here! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Hands up! And if I'm Union, you want CSA to retake and then try to push CSA into last stand? Come on in! Come on in! But if I'm CSA, maybe I wait for Union to hit the gauge. 8th Ohio is charging in here. Right now, they are frankly very outnumbered. You got some guys on top of the road here. That's right, boys. That's right. Good job. Good job, boys. So, CSA off to a great start, as you would expect. Union held that a little better than what you would expect. If I'm Union here, I don't push. I, wait, I let CSA cap, okay. and then I try to charge them down the last stand. You get 20 minutes to do so, because if the defending team's at battle ready when that happens... Uh, when you take the point, it's a 20-minute counterattack. If Union's in engaged, that's 12 minutes. So I don't like these rambles going out. But frankly, that's the way I just described is got to be the only way you can win Shenandoah Street. I, you cannot hold this point <laughs> for the whole match. That that would be very impressive if you did, but I highly doubt if that'll be the case. So CSA take the point. They're almost unengaged. Union shortly after. Your ninja there, they're ready to go. I'm loaded. Ready, boys, they're go. unlimited slots. Misty, they're gonna kill you. No. You smoke too ready. bad. You bitch too good. They're gonna shoot. And we're they're just gonna, gonna wait to see you. Union you just needs to slam in nonstop. If they retake this point before CSA's in last stand, they will lose the game. But I don't know why they're taking so much time. They're they're a little scattered too. Don't know why there's a bunch of guys in there. Where are they going? The Union spent three fourths of a minute so far sitting and waiting since that cap. They've been waiting at least a minute beforehand. But this is surprising here from Union. Uh oh, here they come. Smell the spent. Smell the spent. Smell the spent. 
So JD trying to charge, or at least get shots down the road. It's gonna draw the Union apart by a little, a little bit. And complete chaos. Both sides engaged. Union is down on tickets percentage-wise. They'll go up to the percentage of tickets that CSA is at. They are down right now, it looks like. We probably got to get out of here soon. Push out, boys. Union actually kind of winning this. I mean, you got a couple CSA still on the back end. Uh, but wow. What a win from Union. Uh, I don't think... I, <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've seen Union retake the point. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting! Two? I don't know if he hit that. I'm here! Stone! Stone is launching his pistol out. Looks like he's got a little mat and he would die. Yeah, I don't know if that showed up on the screen or if the scoreboard blocked it, but... CSA looks reinvigorated. Main spawns arriving. Union, though, they've got their spawns as well. And both sides. We'll see if CSA waits for Union to retake before going in, or maybe they'll just try to outright hold. Remember, if Union retakes and CSA then retakes it instantly, it'll be a 12 minute counter attack instead of 20 minutes. But it looks like CSC is going to try to hold this. If anything, it's bringing the tickets down. Regulars online. Hold your ground. Regulars online. Online. Kill. Do it, Ninja. So Union does retake the point, but again, both sides are so low. I. You know, I don't mind this map at all. I mean, it's, it's, we've been, the round's been going for, what, seven minutes now? That's going to be a short round. CSA. Now, if I'm Union, I think I'd try to counter charge and get these flags. But, honestly, it's such a small map, it doesn't really even matter if CSA has the flags or not. Both CSA is going to be responding at their main spawn, which is pretty, pretty far from here. Yeah, it looks like Iron Brigade is taking uh, railroad duty. So CSA reforming again. And CSA might just wait for Union to hit breaking. Two more charges and both sides will be at that point. If CSA wins at that wins the point, then they will win the day. So. You can shoot the through the white fences. That's why you got a couple Union guys over here just shooting. You're shooting blind, but you can shoot through it. And if there's a lot of guys clumped up in these areas, you're you know you're gonna get a hit. Good, eh? He not really just stabbing the wall. I avenged you, Lindsay. I avenged you. Hey, flat right there. And here comes CSA. You see a lot of 12 VA and JD. Pushing down right now. Looks like most CSA though is garnered on this right side. Uh, mostly, uh, well, I guess JD's over here. I saw a few JD tags on the left. Looks like they're gonna collapse here from both sides. So IB's using the railroad as we saw, and. Both sides drop to taking losses. I'm surprised the CSA on the right. There's not a whole lot of them, but they're not charging in, which is letting the Union as a team defeat the CSA in detail. Union obviously getting windowed down, though. Perspective really does change anything for because when you're just watching over here, it's like wow, CSA is getting beat, and then you zoom out a little bit, and it's like oh, the numbers are a lot more even, maybe in CSA's favor. But tickets wise are not in CSA's favor, heavily in Union's favor. So 
I mean, these guys crouching up top is not going to help CSA with their tickets. It is fun to play up here. You don't always get to play on a railroad track. Imagine if there was a fort uh, map in this game. Not like Boulevard Heights readout, but it was like an actual castle fort with multiple levels. That would be, that would be fun. Just trying to storm it. Some Total Wars type stuff. So, CSA is down by uh, a third of a stage roughly. You might be able to argue a fourth of a stage, but it looks like CSA and JD is going to loop around the far side. Now, I don't know if CSA is waiting to bomb or to play as a team, but uh, they're not doing that right now. 8th Ohio pushing up now. Trying to contest this on their own, coming in a little trickled, which is great for JD, who's got the numbers advantage and is also much more together. A couple 10th US guys moving in here as well. Zoo popping a few shots, but that's the thing is CSA is starting to go a little more independent. Each group is kind of doing their own thing, and it's letting Union pick themselves apart because Union is clumped up as one team. Kind of forced to do that, but... Advance, advance. Push up, push up, break reload. Press push up. Let's On this line. Oh. Yeah, so Ninja's me. popping a good few shots down at CSA. Again, not that hard to hit shots. I I don't know if the CSA is waiting to knock you into breaking, but... They won the point by charging as a team down the road, as you always do. I don't know why we're venturing off this no meta that works. South. But again, they could Rebels. just be trying to get Rebels. Union down the breaking. They don't have a Steam chat, though, to actively communicate all this stuff. I don't get why a couple of Union guys are leaking out here and rambling. Uh, I know Union has a ticket lead, but that can fall very quickly, and all the little out of lines can add up. Smokey using that fence line at cover at least. Love that. Uh, CSA is about to hit breaking. Union uh, by a third of a stage. And this is this is just poor CSA play. I mean, Union... Unfortunately, I, there's not a whole lot of strategy on Union part other than clump up here. <laughs> I mean, you can send guys up on the left if you want to. Uh, which it looks like you have 8th Ohio over here. They're playing further back, which is what I can appreciate instead of charging right in. Granted, JD's not far out. But, I mean, there's really not a whole lot of strategy for the defenders here on this map. CSA as an attacker has a lot more. But it looks like CSA really wants to hit this right side now. Again, I, I think if they all charge as a team, this would this would work out great for them. Honestly, if they all charge down this Union right, that could work beautifully, but... Looks like JD is charging in on 8th Ohio by themselves. Rip our boy, our boy Kaiser, who was team killed in that melee. But 8th Ohio is going to barely hold that. With uh, some officer help from Nate and one tenth US guy. You didn't see the name tag. But JD will oh, maybe clean it up. No, they won't. But CSA is really concentrated on this Union left side now, which is a little confusing for me. I mean, when you compare the sides, right, this road is at least double the width of this little area here, and it allows CSA to send a lot more guys down this way. I, I don't know. I'm a little confused by this decision. Union isn't breaking now. So, CSA not really charging. I mean, here's the thing, right? Sure, Union is bunched up here, but Union's kind of playing this smart. Obviously, guys are leaking out to take shots, and you can see they're paying a price for that. But you got Union guys spreading out into this kind of, I don't know, backyard. And then some using that stone wall. And I mean, similarly, CSA is they're leaking out, getting shot up. Come on, guys. Stop hiding behind the fence over what there. What the heck? He's going up for a big old hog. And then he turned into a ghost. 
So you got 8th Ohio shooting up from this side. I'm so confused by CSA strap. I mean, they. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, as long as Union stays in formation when they're leaking out to get these shots, aka the people not crouching here, you need to, you need to stand up. I get you're trying to use the cover, but it, Union needs any ticket lead that they can get at this point. I'm going to assume when CSA gets close to breaking, maybe before they, uh, sorry, final push. But CSA is going to charge when they have final push. Looks like they're starting to inch their way down and look a little bulked up here. 8th Ohio still with those flanking oh, shots. Oh, shit, right here. Union needs as much of a ticket lead as they can get. They do not need the skirmishing and whatnot. And I Ohio's got a great flank over here, but if CSA gets on this point and wins, it's going to be bad for Union. Here we go. CSA will probably just outright win the game. Tickets still in Union favor. CSA winning. 8th Ohio's trying to flank around the side. They are losing on point, Union is. Bar still in Union favor. 8th Ohio trying to flank. Oh, get him, motherfucker. Skip that motherfucker. Charge through. Charge through. Jeez, Kaiser is throwing lead. Both sides down. Looks like even on tickets, Union won that charge. That 8th Ohio flank was very skeptical, at least in my opinion. It's, it's, I mean, it's a great flank, and it caught CSA off guard completely, which I guess I didn't really consider a whole lot. Um, but obviously, if that fails, that's a huge ticket loss because you're spreading yourself out as Union, which you don't want to do. But, hey, it paid off very well. So, Let's go! Both sides close. Union needs to watch the out of lines on their part. Same with CSA. I don't know why CSA guys are trickling in here. Uh, CSA needs to reform at their main, which most guys are doing. If they hit final push, that timer's going to drop, and CSA won't have a lot of time. So I don't appreciate that guys are going out, dying out of line for CSA. And any one of these kills on CSA is going to drop from the final push. Oh, yeah, we, we need homies on the south side. If you don't have an assignment, south side. If you are regulars, you are north side. And Union needs to kill these guys before before CSA can get reformed, which it looks like it's too late at this point. But look at that. CSA has a minute 40. They're going to have a, they're going to have this big charge here, and then it's going to kind of be a trickle in. Looks like 12 3 is going right. 12, a JD going center. I saw a couple CSA going left. It looks like a couple, I saw a couple 12 VA guys, but... It's gonna be close. No, it's not. Fuck you. It's probably gonna be a CSA. Let's go, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. I assume CSA is gonna pull this off, but we'll see how Union defends this. If I, it's gonna depend on how well CSA goes in together. Union hits last stand. One minute left. Once a Union guys dies, they don't come back. They held this very, very well. CSA did not go in together, which is allowing Union opportunity here to hold. How many respawns? Union has about 15, 20 guys left over there that are coming in for main spawn. 45 seconds. The Union might be able to pull this off. CSA is going to be coming in without bayonets and reloads. Look at it in its glory! Wow, Union's... Okay, here comes the next bulk CSA. If CSA gets more bodies on point when the clock hits zero, CSA will win the match. A Union should kind of counter charge and get CSA off the point, but they're not. Five seconds. And Union will... Oh. I thought the slowdown started, I'm not going to lie. It's so hard to tell sometimes if the round ends with the slow-mo. The, the reason why, too, is the black timer is different for everybody. So I could have been a few seconds off. I heard someone down there say they were a few seconds ahead of me. 
So that's why I said that, but it looks like CSA, they're barely going to get enough times, uh, enough guys on point and secure the win. So good win from CSA. Not really a traditional Shenandoah Street per se. Generally, you'll see CSA cap early and kind of hold for the rest of the round and win that, but not the case here. CSA capping that point. Union playing very good and retaking that point, which you normally don't see. They took it very quick, too, compared to what you normally see, and then was able to hold for most of that match. Granted, CSA started spreading themselves out a little more, um, which was a little concerning, but in the end, a win is a win. And that's really all that matters from, uh, at least for me anyways, that's all that matters. A win is a win. So, well done. There's not much more to say. Shenandoah Street is such a simple map. <laughs> not a whole lot happens. And that's why every ticket matters for Union anyways. Like literally if they hit last stand like 15 seconds later, they could have won the match. So everything matters. We will see you for round number two. And here we are with round number two on the bloody lane. Again, that imbalance is eight in favor of CSA. Union doesn't have artillery. CSA does, and they have three guys on it right now, so that imbalance is five. Looking at CSA artillery, you can kind of see them in the distance. In that Piper farm, they're rolling out the guns right now. We'll see how good they are. Artillery is not the greatest on this map. You don't have a great angle. It seems like a lot of it is guest sh shots, but bloody lame. CSA, they got to defend the lane. That point is in the center of the map. I don't know why that's so high up in the air, but I guess that makes sense. Uh, you wouldn't want that in the middle of the point in the melee, but uh, you do have the point inside this lane. CSA, they just have to defend the width of the lane. Wherever Union goes, they have to follow. And today, it looks like the Union's going to go down the right side. Traditionally, Union would have ganged up on the left side here and Bonsai down to here. And beat the CSA, an awesome melee with their Springfield 42 buck and ball shotguns, basically. And then sweep through and take that point and win. But as of late, you've seen the Union try to push this right side. And CSA looks ready for that. Which is uh, very good for them. And actually, they're starting to push up. Let's see what the CSA defensive line brings today. You got Icor on the far right with the Iron Brigade uh, holding to their left, 33rd Kentucky there as well. Further on the left side, you have 12th VA and JD up here on the left side right now. Looks like Union is going to start charging down that hill, which uh, from CSA view, there it is. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of hard to see with the, the hill being tilted up. First fly, holy crap. That killed a couple. <laughs> so great first shot there from CSA. That's kind of what you expect as Union on bloody lane. Union a little scattered out though. You have one regiment moving in a little late. JD did fall back. And this is the problem with this Union attack. CSA is very spread out in the defensive line. They're not trying to clump up. But... What happens is the Union is spreading out on that CSA line, which is a little concerning. You need to do what 8th Ohio is kind of doing here. They're turning the flank of CSA. And now that they turn the flank, they can push down. Union on this side are kind of having a harder time. They are somewhat winning, but they're having a harder time. Because they this the right side of this Union attack, they spread out and hit the CSA, uh, which is not going to go good for you. You need to turn that flank. So, regardless though, 8th Ohio have some success pushing down here. Union is down a little bit more tickets. You have one Union company on the far side shooting from a distance. But 8th Ohio is behind the CSA team who charged through the Union uh, remaining forces from that right side of the charge. JD charging through that. 8th Ohio disappeared after 12th VA showed up. Um... They did not bring a flag in there, though, so Union has all their flags. CSA similarly having those flags. And so, overall, this is not that bad of a start for Union. You brought everyone's tickets down. CSA is up by a little bit of tickets. Uh, it's somewhat, somewhat surprising. I guess not really when Union charged across an open field and lost that charge. Looks like the flags are starting to pull back. 
and Union will retreat. It looks like the friendlies are able to pull out the we'll reposition. For CSA, you might say, oh, they're retreating, but if you're Union, you're probably like, oh, they're repositioning. It's optics. There is one down flag. What the heck? This has to be a CSA flag. Yeah. I don't know why they're not picking it up. But, regardless of that, Union seems content on this right side. Uh, CSA seemed to pick up on that pretty quickly. And we'll see how Union wants to take this again. Union was very spread out. They did not all go together. So, it was kind of a poor overall charge from the Union team. You got one of the Union flags going to the left side right now. One of these two brave heroes, they got out the colors. Yeah, yeah, boys. And it looks like Twin Banners is going to take that 69th flag to the left. That's the thing. If Union wants to move left, they need to do it a little bit. They need to do it a little bit more secretly. Yeah, maybe. Because you do have I core starting to shift down. That's the thing, right? It's like, oh, you can't see the Union because there's a big old hill in the way. Well, there's that flag that's sticking up. And not the no, it's like in-game flags. Oh, it's not showing right now. It was... You could see it fine from here a second ago. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. And it looks like they're actually going up and over right now. You do have twin banners trying to hit the corner, but i -Core shifted over originally. And you have the rest of CSA on the left moving to engage the Union on top of the hill. But it seems that Union group shooting on top of the hill is more of a distraction Hello, for the charge Hello, over here. Everyone. Hello. 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 The flag didn't make it. MB seems to be charging in here as well. And so this is a good wipe. Union outnumbered CSA. They hit this good. One pretty dominantly has taken this corner, which is very good. And tickets are even again. Infamous is trying to go in, take on this group independently. Gets a kill, but dies. So I like that Union has the corner. The question is, can they hold it? They got two comp flat. Uh, they got two flags over there. The other two are over taking shots. I don't know if they want those guys to. Shift back left. We'll see in time. One CSA flag is down. MB's holding forward. JD collapsing. Uh-oh. The flag's turning into a stick. Uh-oh. It ain't good. Unit is a little spread out in this side. Eighth Ohio on the left. Twin Banner's on the right. MB. Either dead or barely alive up there. <laughs> But it's big that Union kind of took this corner. I don't know why there's a CSA guy sitting in the middle of the, the hill. Who are you? Zolfi? And this this grass update, uh, you can kind of blend in with that a little bit. It conceals you a little more, especially if you're CSA. And that's the thing. These fall colors uh, work for the CSA very well as... Obviously, everything is more yellow, orange, which much, uh, which matches that tan CSA uniform. Uh, not so much that blue uniform for Union, but we'll, we'll wait for winter, which should hopefully be here within the, the next line, few days in-game. It's already here for me, line. but real life. But CSA is not trying to take this corner aggressively. Union still holding up top, shooting from a distance. CSA is down on tickets. So the question is... CSA doesn't seem to really want to retake this corner. I don't know if they're worried about Union going down for a flank. But if CSA does try to retake this corner, they need to do it again with their whole team. JD is running out of bounds right now uh, to get this great flank on Union. So JD looks like they just wanted to pop a few shots. A few guys taking their time. Uh, they're going to pay up the price for that. That might hit CSA down to engage, if not very close to it. Union is starting to somewhat shift down the snake fence as well to advantage when there. That's the thing, is Union, when they push the CSA left, Union generally likes to take up this spot. And see, the thing is, this is not out of bounds. So CSA can get around and flank the Union here, so they can hit them from most sides. When you reflect on this side, you just saw that JD... And now it looks like 12th VA 
they're out of bounds trying to flank the Union line. And that's the difficulty for CSA when trying to retake this and engage the Union. So you got a couple of line kills here. Uh, skirmishing deaths probably between 12th VA and 8th Ohio. Great shot by Carl. He just got two guys. That buck and ball. But uh, the longer the CSA guys ran, uh, Rambo here, obviously higher chance to get killed there. And that's going to drop CSA down to engaged. So twin banners shifting down furthermore. CSA, it's... I'm so confused by CSA strategy. Look how spread out they are. I mean, you got some CSA that are content with just sitting on point on the right side. You got some wanting to go shoot the CSA, or I guess Union on the left. They're also being shot at. And then you have some guys kind of in this middle area. So the CSA strategy is very confusing, at least from a pers uh, spectator view, which is not good. AB, focus to the northwest. You keep them pressured on this northwest side. Because if CSA is not acting in unison, that can allow for CSA to be defeated in detail or just make mistakes. A higher chance, anyways, of mistakes. That means more chances for losing tickets and dying out of line. So JD's still trying to take these shots. 8th Ohio took a beating, though, from that. MB's going to try to move into assist. But these little out of line skirmishes here are not helping. Uh, the CSA whatsoever. They're obviously hurting the Union. The Union has a larger raw ticket amount. Which, I don't know the exact raw ticket amount, but I can look at the difference in tickets. Where is it? Bloody Lane, 52% ticket advantage to the Union. So, I mean, that that's just huge. I mean, that's basically for every two Union guys that dies. Uh, it sorry, for every two CSA that die, it takes three Union guys dying, if assuming all deaths are in formation, to keep at a similar pace. And so out-of-line trades at 1-1 are not great, and CSA is paying a price for that. They're down a third of a stage. Union do go down to engage. What is going on up here? We're just teabagging something in the corn. You can see Union is uh, Kelly's Brigade, 10th US, Twin Banners, MB. They're shifting down, moving on to point. Starting to get into a shootout with uh, a couple different groups here. I see MSG, 33rd Kentucky, a couple 12th VA guys. There's a down flag there. That was probably CSA, but you got JD uh, pushing up here, which 8th Ohio is a little outnumbered. Taking their shots and charging. Kind of close. They obviously have enough manpower to wipe 8th Ohio here, but can Charisma get the flag out? Oh, Womp spawned in. <laughs> rip on. Womp. Oh, he lost his stamina, but he will get that flag back. To at least where Union can pick it up, but it looked like he survived. All units, break your loads. We move. So, on, on. Union is capping point. I don't think they should. You're up two-thirds of a morale stage right now. If CSA does retake that point after you capture it, CSA will gain two-thirds of a morale stage at least. Uh, and that wouldn't be great for Union. So that's why you can see they've kind of pulled off. It looks like Union's trying to gun it back to that left side and CSA's breaking off. CSA is acting too independent to win this match. I'm going to come. So 12th VA is shifting around here. JD doing the same. I don't know. It's just... It's a little confusing. I 
I mean, I have kind of a bin in the corner. I don't know why... Who's holding back here? Don't know why Tank the US is holding back here. They are great shots. Uh, this is what they're known for. But... They're so far back. I don't know why they need to. Especially when Union has control of the snake fence. Now... 10th US is not a part of the 69th company, which does have the shotgun buck and ball, uh, which is maybe why they want to sit a little further back. CSA, I'm pretty sure, has buck and ball as well on this map. But regardless, I don't think it matters with how much he is winning. It's three fourths of a morale stage now. Flag southeast. And here's the thing. CSA is still kind of acting disjointed. Look how spread out these guys are over here. But they're holding back. And these guys up here are still kind of being aggressive. i is up here. They're still somewhat playing aggressive. And it's just... TSA is not acting in one. They need to be up here attacking as a team or sitting back as a team. You can't be sitting in the middle ground. Middle ground will offer you defeat, which is what we've seen here. And now CSA is down to taking losses. JD pushing up here. They're bringing huge numbers. A lot more than what I remember. Which is always great to see. Speaking of large numbers, by War of Rights, it's 50% off. <laughs> the pub servers hit full capacity at 350 uh, relatively quickly the other night. Um, maybe we'll get two servers for once. Well, who sees though? We'll see though. JD is shifting from left to right. You do have Union on the far side. 8th Ohio uh, reformed again with that flag. And so, again, the rambling is going to kill you. Again, the individual instances of rambling are not bad in and of itself. It is the huge amount of them that can start causing issues. So, that's why you got to be critical of every single one of those. So, I mean, you do, I mean, you have a couple of Union guys. Uh, who is this here? MD, they are charging i -Corps, are outnumbered. And the thing is, is rambling would be bad for Union too, and oh, that's an okay charge. Uh, rambling's bad for Union. It's not as bad, especially with how much, uh, particularly the Union has. CSA is pouring at 12th VA, and I think JD's with them as well. They basically just eradicated Eighth Ohio. But this strategy for them right now is not working. And the reason why I'm saying that is because this ticket gap is still hugely in favor of Union. Kelly's brigade guys are rolling up, getting completely shot by the four officers standing by the fence. So, now Union's acting kind of independent. Twin banners are now going in. Looks like they're keeping their flag back, but CSA on the right, uh, on point, are starting to crouch over to this side. Hopefully 10 to US comes down and saves this. CSA are going to hold that, no surprise. And CSA on point, seeing a Union flag sit out there. They're uh, going to try to make a move for it, but MB is going to prevent that. Is 10th US up here? Where'd they go? Yeah, they moved down now, but Union has just let CSA retake the field. Uh, Union got defeated in detail. Uh, I mean, CSA took out 8th Ohio on this left side very well, but now Union just acted independent, which... Union is still in a great spot. Looks like they've saved the 8th Ohio's flag, which is good on their part. Union appears to have all their flags on this left side. So, Union's in a great spot. They're up by a little over half of morale stage right now. But Union's got plenty of time. They just dropped the taking losses. Right there. So we'll see where Union wants to charge. Again, I do not know why the flag bearers are so intent on running along the snake fence I mean, for Union. Well, it <laughs> reveals your position. And CSA... I mean, seriously, if one person sees that flag and says, hey, Union flag's doing this, 
the whole team is going to instantly know and they're going to start shifting with that flag. Which is good for CSA. You'll see a lot of matches where that doesn't happen and where the team just doesn't communicate and CSA gets destroyed. And I'm talking private events too. <laughs> Public events you can kind of you can kind of understand. Private events makes zero sense. So CSA as a whole is shifting back to this left side. I don't I don't know if it's because of this flag here that they're doing that. Yeah, I, I think it has to be, but the whole Union team is still stationary on this left side. And they're gonna take advantage of this. This is you get why CSA is going that way, but oof. So, Union going down to that fence line, Ninja at the helm. CSA in the distance is not really responding. Some are starting to shift over here, but Union just up and took that. Looks like i -Corps is trying to move down to prevent. They're kind of going independently in, though. Flight down. Get that flag back. So 12VA now pushing up to assist i -Corps. They are very much outnumbered. Union could sweep through here, defeat the CSA in detail, hit breaking, win the game. So KB uh, really... Uh, live, last one's alive here. Nate's running up the here. With us, boys. Keep pushing. One CSA flag is down right now. My bad, Shadow. My bad, Shadow. I'm trying to hit the. Trying to get the flag, but can't. These Rambo's are gonna the kill CSA. Why are they trying to get the flag? I get why they're trying to get the flag, but the whole Union team here, you're not getting that flag. Literally, next kill is going to drop CSA down. CSA does have control point, most because of these guys on the right side of your screen. Do throw in lead in there. And this is, if Union takes this here, this is going to be a very short night, which I won't complain about. Fortunately, none of my sports teams are playing right now, but they've been playing all today and doing a lot of winning. So, CSA drops to breaking, and Union is taking that point. You can see CSA, they're going around this side. Uh, JD's heading that way. Now, when are they going to turn and charge point? Because they're kind of abandoning point right now. Union is on point taking it. I mean, only... 12th VA, i MSG, uh, guys from these groups are on point. What is JD doing all the way out there? Oh, there they come. I, it might be too late. You can see 10th US at the top right is starting to turn, and they're going to charge JD in their side. I don't know if this will be enough, but... JD trying Union reinforcing the plug in the gap. 10th US collapsing from behind. And that is going to probably be it for this round. So, two quick rounds tonight. Uh, good dominating wins from the attacking side. Both sides tonight. Um, oh, points going back in CSA's face. Oh, it's cedaring. There it is. So, a uh, good win from Union. I guess that's not terribly surprising, especially with how well Union played in that first round. But, hey, good wins uh, tonight. I mean, I, CSA's mistake was just act, not acting as a cohesive unit in the middle of that round. They did end up taking everything at back, but that was because Union started acting independently. And CSA kind of starting to reform 12th VA and JD. Uh were teaming up very well, and they were able to pick the Union apart. i kind of came in and finished it up. But um, Union held together. Big mistake from CSA also at the end was that 
Union was able to take that corner, uh, this this side here, because uh, CSA saw that flag moving, and I think they adjusted. But regardless, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel more, we have a Patreon where you can get a live stream of all the broadcasts we do, an additional broadcast per week, you can advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos, and more. But we also have our Discord merch, Instagram, and Twitter. But I appreciate you all being here nonetheless, and we will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your night.